If you think there is no pain coming, there's pain coming. Pain. There will be pain. Remember Mike Babcock saying that when he got hired in the summer. There will be pain with this team. Well, the first half of the season wasn't very painful. Sure, there were a couple of spankings, like a 7-0 loss to San Jose and a big loss to Winnipeg. But for the most part, the team has played to a structure, to a template, however you want to phrase it. They've been a little better than expected. There hasn't been that much pain. Funny thing, when was the last time you saw Leaf Nation say to a team that was in the bottom of the standings, but they're playing good? So there's some optimism around the team, but now we enter into the second half of the season. James Van Riemsdyk is injured. Lou Lamorello and Mike Babcock are going around reminding everybody there will be pain. And that's because leading up to the trade deadline, the Leafs will be sellers. They will be getting rid of some of their unrestricted free agents. It's not a good time to be, say, Sean Matthias or Roman Polak or uh, Michael Grabner, guys who will be on the trading block for picks or prospects. The team is famously gone downhill in the second half of the season. If it does this year, all the better. A top five pick virtually guaranteed. Some great picks coming up in the draft. But remember, there will be pain. The pain that was promised in the summer will come in the second half of this season. I'm Kevin McGrath for the Toronto Star, and that's your Leafs Minute.